वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू आवर चैनल एम एस डी लॉस इन केमिकल थर्नाइज टॉपिक टूडे आर गोइंग टू सी टू इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज स्पॉन्टेनियस प्रोसेस एंड अनदर इज एंड ट्रॉपिक सॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्पॉन्टेनियस प्रोसेस द प्रोसेस the process which has tendency tendency to occur naturally do not require any external external influence to occur naturally is called spontaneous process is called spontaneous process to so see students see what is given in this definition the process which has tendency to occur naturally and do not require any external influence to occur naturally is called as spontaneous process the process which takes place automatically which do not require any external influence to take that process means the process is natural process and it is irreversible process to explain this spontaneous process means the process which takes place with its own accord without taking external any assistance that process has to be taken place to explain this process we have to consider the examples like uh, the reaction in which we will consider the first example the reaction in which aqueous sodium hydroxide is added in hcl then the formation of nacl and h2 molecule takes place what is given in this reaction naoh aqueous plus hcl aqueous gives nacl aqueous plus h2o water molecule formation takes place so during this reaction we have known that it is exothermic one minus 57 kilo joule so that heat is given out means we have known that this is the neutralization reaction but in this reaction when nawh and hcl they are mixed together the formation of salt and water molecule takes place so to occur this reaction it doesn't require any external influence it doesn't require any heat to take place that reaction means by the addition of nh and hcl immediately this reaction takes place and formation of nacl and h2 takes place so that is the spontaneous reaction this is the spontaneous process but when sodium chloride is added in water then sodium chloride dissolves in it but it doesn't forms nh and hcl again means this process do not takes place in reverse manner so therefore it is called as irreversible process also and every irreversible process it is a spontaneous one we can consider another example so it is water flows from higher level to lower level you see here water flows from higher level to lower level higher level to lower level you see here to flow water from higher level to lower level no external influence is required means it is natural tendency to flow water from higher level to lower level it is natural tendency but reverse manner it doesn't express water never goes from lower level to higher level to go it it will require external assistance means it is 
it is not a reversible one it is when water flows from higher level to lower level it is a spontaneous one but when go from lower to higher it is a non spontaneous one also i know that in case of ice when ice is kept in open or ice is taken out of freeze then it melts above 0 degree celsius when ice is kept in open it melts at over ice kept in open it melts above 0 degree celsius you see here when ice is present in freeze it present in solid state and as soon as it is taken out and kept for some time in open it gets melts means it is melting of ice it is a spontaneous process again you can consider the example of when hot cup of tea is kept in open what happens hot cup of tea is kept in open kept in open it becomes cool it becomes cool after some time so this is a spontaneous process means cooling of tea uh, then melting of ice then water flows from higher level to lower level and then NaOH and HCl they are mixed with each other formation of NaCl and H2O so all these are the spontaneous processes all these processes are a spontaneous processes now we have to see here next point energy and spontaneity energy and spontaneity what is given in this point energy and spontaneity energy and spontaneity whenever any process is a spontaneous one at that time what energy change is taking place in it so that is the energy and spontaneity generally spontaneous reaction tend to occur in a direction so as to lower its energy of the system you see generally any spontaneous process takes place in the direction so as to lower its energy or lower the energy of the system just to have consider the neutralization reaction in that reaction we have seen that here NaOH in aqueous solution mixed with hcl solution it gives nacl aqueous plus water and during this reaction we have known that enthalpy change so that is minus 57 kJ means during this reaction when hcl and noh are added with each other nacl and h2o formation takes place during this reaction that much amount of heat is evolved that much amount of heat is given out means for the product side that much amount of energy is less means this this is the spontaneous reaction and it is to be taken place in the direction so as the energy of the product is lowered generally we can say that during spontaneous process energy is released and that process takes place in the direction so as to Uh, lower the energy of that particular system but this doesn't happens every time we'll consider another examples also so which are the another examples uh, melting of ice melting of ice here what happens when ice is taken out and kept in open in atmosphere at that time it get melts but during this melting process it absorb the heat and the melting process takes place 
No doubt, the process is spontaneous, but it is occurred by absorbing the heat, means it is endothermic one. You see here, it is endothermic one. It is endothermic. We will consider another example. Whenever this NaCl is added in water, NaCl and added in water, then what happens? Our aqueous solution of NaCl is considered that at the time Na positive aqueous and Cl negative aqueous takes place. At the time, heat absorbed or enthalpy change is there about plus 3.9 kilojoule. If you consider both this process, no doubt these are the spontaneous one. But dissolution of NaCl in water is spontaneous and melting of ice is also spontaneous. But both these processes, certain heat is absorbed, means both the, uh, the endothermic processes. One. Means we cannot say that the spontaneous process is exothermic or spontaneous process is endothermic one. But here we required a certain another term to explain the spontaneity. Means exothermicity is not a criteria for spontaneous process. Means it requires a certain term. So that term is called as entropy. So that entropy, what it is, we have to see in detail or we have to learn in detail regarding the entropy of the system. It is denoted by yes. Entropy is another a mathematical term which is very important here. Before this we have already seen the terms like energy, enthalpy. But this entropy, so that is the new term which is added in this topic. So what is the entropy? Entropy is nothing but the measure of disorder or randomness of particles of the system. Major of, who can define entropy? It is the major of, major of randomness, randomness or disorder of the molecules, disorder of the molecules. So, here that is entropy. It is the measure of randomness or disorder of the molecules which are present in the system. We have known that what is the ordered molecules which are present in a particular substance and when its state changes these molecules get disordered. If you consider these three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas state. Generally, in solid state substances, the particles which are present in it, they are arranged in a systematic manner. Hence, very strong force of attraction is present in solid state substances and they don't have any gap between these molecules, means they are orderly arranged, systematically arranged. But this systematic arrangement of the molecules can get disturbed when their solid state substances are converted into its liquid state. Means in this liquid state substances, the particles which are orderly arranged in solid state, they get disturbed and these particles go move away from each other and their randomness increases. If again this liquid state substance goes into its gas state, this disorder becomes highly increased and these particles can go away from each other in available space. Means this randomness of the particle is nothing but the entropy. 
this disorder of the particles nothing but the entropy and this disorder increases from solid state to liquid state and liquid state to gaseous state we consider the simple example of melting of ice means in ice these particles they are orderly arranged in solid state like this orderly arrangement of the particle is there like this and this is a solid state so that is ice really highly ordered highly ordered particles highly ordered particles when it goes into its liquid state means this solid ice when it is kept in open and kept for some time then these particles go away from each other hence their gap increases and these particles can move in available container means this is the h2 liquid means this is the disordered state disorder disordered state of the particles but when this liquid water again heated up to its boiling point up to 100 degrees celsius then these particles again go away from each other and they can move randomly in available space like this so this is the h2 in gas state so that is highly disordered state highly disordered state highly disordered state of the particles in this manner you see here highly ordered particles or highly ordered state of the particles which is present in solid state they are compactly arranged there is no any gap is present between them and they are strongly held together in solid state substances means order is high but when they gets converted into liquid state this ordered particles get disordered means these particles move away from each other and these particles can move in the available container and when this liquid water is heated up to its boiling point these particles go away from each other and randomly move in a space so that is called as highly disordered state of the particles in this manner we can explain the entropy of a particular molecules present in that system we can also uh, consider certain other examples of entropy also what are the another examples of entropy in another example we have known that in case of in case of a particular h2 gas gets converted into two hydrogen atoms in gas state you see here when hydrogen molecule suppose we consider one mole of hydrogen molecules and when the bond between two hydrogen atoms in a molecule gets broken and formation of two mole of hydrogen atom takes place you see here there one mole of hydrogen molecule means how great is number of molecules present in one mole of the substance and when the bond between two hydrogen atoms in gas state is broken and formation of two hydrogen atoms from one molecule takes place means one mole contains how great is number of molecules and here one mole contains twice the how great is number of molecules means here randomness of the particles increases while breaking the bond between two atoms in a molecule means here change in that particular entropy you see here entropy change how entropy change occurs change in entropy in this case delta s so that is positive one 
means how entropy change taking place we are considering here positive means here entropy of the product is greater than the entropy of the reactants means the right hand side to this arrow so these are the products and left hand side to this arrow these are the reactants then the entropy of this two mole of hydrogen present in gas state hydrogen atoms present in gas state they have more entropy than the hydrogen present in molecular gas state then the change in entropy so that is called as positive here we can also consider certain another examples of the entropy change then dissolution of solid iodine into liquid you see here dissolution of solid iodine dissolution of solid iodine solid iodine solid i2 in water you see here when solid iodine is dissolved in water you see here i2 solid when dissolved in water or in aqueous medium gives i2 in aqueous medium in solid state is converted to liquid state no doubt the entropy change delta s is also here positive when iodine is present in its solid state then these iodine particles iodine molecules are systematically arranged so there is strong force of attraction between these particles these molecules in solid state iodine but when water is added in it then gets converted into liquid iodine state and then these molecules go away from each other these iodine molecules dissolved in water these molecules can go away from each other their randomness increases their entropy increases means entropy of product is more than the entropy of reactants therefore change in entropy is positive in case of dissolution of solid i2 in water we will also consider another example example of 2h2 gas when reacts with o2 gas formation of 2h2 liquid takes place you see here when two moles of hydrogen which are present in gas state reacts with one mole of oxygen in gas state formation of two mole two moles of h2 in liquid state takes place or simply you can say that in two moles of h2 reacts with one mole of oxygen formation of two moles of water molecules takes place so what will be the entropy change here definitely the entropy change here will be negative one why it is negative because in reactant side two moles of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen total three moles are present in gas state and product side only two moles which are present in liquid state no doubt the entropy of gas state particles gas state molecules is more than the entropy of liquid state molecules so therefore entropy of a uh, reactant is more than the product so therefore change in entropy entropy of product minus entropy of reactant is definitely negative we will consider one more example so that is calcium carbonate which is present in solid state when it's decompose then formation of co solid plus co2 in gas state so what will be entropy change can you tell definitely when one mole of calcium carbonate which is present in solid state decompose formation of one mole of calcium oxide in solid state and one mole of co2 in gas state means towards product side one mole of gas state is additional and therefore its entropy means combining the entropy of product is more than the entropy of reactants therefore change in entropy so that is a positive one so in this manner we can explain the entropy term how this entropy term we can explain mathematically here no doubt entropy and change in entropy both you see here entropy and change in entropy means s and delta s s and delta s both are the state functions because they depends upon only on initial and final state but not on path by which so that is taken place 
so both entropy and change in entropy so these are the uh, state functions now we are going to see the entropy change how mathematically written entropy change how we can write mathematically means mathematically entropy change can be written as delta s is equal to q reversible divided by t you see here entropy change is equal to the heat absorbed by the system in reversible manner divided by temperature in kelvin at which that heat is absorbed you see here what is the unit of entropy change that entropy change delta s heat absorbed is given in joules and temperature in kelvin is joule per kelvin so that is the unit of entropy change just i told you that entropy change is equal to the heat absorbed in reversible manner divided by the temperature at which that heat is absorbed means here we can say that two points we can uh, explain here or we can write entropy change it depends upon heat absorbed in reversible manner if suppose heat is absorbed by that particular system then definitely its entropy increases just i told one example when solid ice kept in open it gets converted into liquid water means it absorbs heat due to absorption of heat what happens these particles go away from each other and solid get converted into liquid state and again we heat the liquid water it gets converted into its water vapors means absorption of heat or addition of heat in reversible manner to a particular system its kinetic energy increases and due to increase in kinetic energy these particles randomly move or go away from each other and hence if we absorb heat in reversible manner then entropy change increases here we can say that entropy change delta s is directly proportional to heat absorbed in a reversible manner but here also in second point we can explain heat absorbed in reversible manner its entropy increases it will depends upon the temperature you see here that is given in second point it absorbed in reversible manner then definitely entropy change increases delta s increases but at what temperature that change occurs so that is important here means if the heat absorbed at certain higher temperature takes place then change in entropy occurs a certain a lower value means entropy change is lower at higher temperature but same heat is absorbed at lower temperature then entropy change occurs that is more means we can say that change in entropy delta s is inversely proportional to its temperature by combining these two equations we can write this delta s entropy change is equal to the heat absorbed in reversible divided by temperature in kelvin at which that heat is absorbed so in this manner we can explain the entropy of the uh, system we can also consider a simple example when the students are present in the class they are systematically present in a row they are completely arranged they are completely seated in a class arrangement is systematic no doubt if these students are considered as particles their entropy is is less and when lecture is over and the students goes out of class they randomly move they go away from each other and they can run their randomness 
increases and we can say that the entropy increases. So in this manner, this very simple uh, term entropy we have explained in today's period. I hope you should understood all of these things what I have explained in this period. Okay, we will stop here. Thank you for watching.